I'm going to be designing on Canva.com. I highly recommend Canva, especially for beginners, plus it's free. So to get started, you want to go to custom dimensions and you want to make your page size 11 by 8.5 inches and click create a new design. Your blank page has uploaded. You want to go up to the upload tab and upload your template. Once your template is uploaded, you want to select it, add it to your page, and now you just want to size it to fit your page. Now we can get to the fun part and start designing. Right, so before we hop into making our design, I just wanted to share with you all what's, what's included in the template. So when you download your template, you're going to have the main template. You're going to have a single template. This could be used like in Cricut Design Space, but um, Cricut Design Space is not going to allow you to make two at a time. So you're going to waste a lot of paper. So I don't recommend Cricut Design Space because you're wasting a lot of paper. But if you like working in Cricut Design Space, I do have a single template available for you to use. You're gonna receive the markup and I'm gonna show you how to use the markup after I finish the design. I have some lines here and you're gonna see as I'm designing what I use these lines for and I included a couple of different colors. I also included a birthday crispy treats logo um at the time that i'm making this video i only have this one color but i'm gonna have some more colors up there for you and i also included this little logo so to get before you get started you want to go to the upload tab and upload all of your images and backgrounds that you want to use for your design and now we can start designing
next I want to show you how to use the markup that I included. Stand under the same page that you did your design. Go to the plus tab and add a new page. As you can see your template shows up but just hit the trash can delete button. After that you want to select your page and change it to a light neutral color. Now you want to scroll back up to your design, select your design, and hit duplicate. Move that copy down to your next page. Now scroll back down where you can see. Now for our markup, we just need the middle part of this design, the front part of the design. So in order to get that, we're just going to ungroup this and we're going to delete everything around the design except for the Now we have the front of our markup. To do the back, you just upload the markup again, make it a little smaller. Go back to the image that you use for your the back of your design. You can now select your page again. Just click on the gray area, click up here, and turn your page back white where everything looks blended in. And now you have your markup. And you can just play around with it and position it to where you would like it. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my video till the end. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos or freebies. Speaking of freebies, you can get this JoJo Rice Krispie Treat printable for free by heading over to my blog at hangingwiththekiddos.com. You can also find the link in the description box down below. If you're interested in the blank Rice Krispie Treat template that I used in this video, you can find it over in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to my store down below also. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.